Welcome to Smart Conserva. I am literally afraid of plugging in anything up to this day, and that fear started from when I was a child growing up. I remember once plugging in the television we had and got a shock throughout my body. That caused me to drop the plug and leave the room. Another time, just touching the appliance would cause the same shock. But look at that, just even thinking about it, my parents instilled in us the need to conserve as the television was never left plug in. How did we ever end up like this? As a child, I didn't know what caused that shock throughout my body. It wasn't until years later that I realized that there was an electricity leak. It may sound strange to you, as most people don't know that just like water, electricity can leak. About three years ago, I was at home and one of my neighbors plug on the driveway was literally on fire. Sparks flew and popping sounds could be heard. We stood helplessly. Luckily, the fire did not have anything to burn but the paint around the immediate area and the socket itself. When it all stopped, the area was black with soot. What caused that? Could it happen inside our houses as well? Well, the fire was caused by an electricity leak, just like the appliance which caused the shock. But what causes electricity leakage? How can you tell if you have an electricity leak? Well, the causes are 1. The most common cause of electricity leak is when the current in your appliances crosses from one correct wire into the appliance or the earth wire. The current is carried away to the earth, effectively causing your electricity to leak. This is common especially where the wiring of the house is old and starts to disintegrate. Two, it can also be due to bad wiring or even an old appliance starting to break down. Hmm. We're going back to the case of if it not done, no dash it way. Electricity in our homes need to be earthed properly as if it's not, then the current that is leaking into the shell of their plants can find its way into your body when you touch their plants. It will then travel through your body before disappearing into the ground. How can you tell if you have an electricity leak? Well, one way is that the shock will be felt by your body whenever you touch or try to plug in their plants. Any air you have on your body will slightly raise. <laughs> it's not a nice feeling. Another way to tell is by your light bill. It can be abnormally high. So you get the high light bill and need to know if you really have an electricity leak. Here's what you can do. Turn off all appliances. In fact, plug them all out and make sure no light is turned on. It won't damage anything to be plugged out for a few minutes. Prior to turning off and plugging out the, the devices, you should take a meter reading. If you have an old-fashioned meter, such as the analog meter, you'll be able to see the dial moving. If it's moving, when you have unplugged everything, then you have an electricity leakage issue. Should you have more modern meter, like the smart meter, simply take the meter reading and leave everything off for 30 minutes before checking it again. The reading should be exactly the same. If it isn't, you have an electricity leakage. You cannot solve an electricity leak yourself. You will have to get an electrician. Yes, it's going to cost you. But the discovery of it 
will mean you can quickly solve the problem and ease yourself from receiving that high light bill. You have come to the end of another series. Join us next time for more ways to conserve.